Hi everyone, it's me, Megan. And I am Jesse. Hey, Megan, I have a question. Yes, Jesse. When you were a kid, did you ever disobey your parents? Uh, yeah, I did. Are you having a hard time obeying Jesse? Yes! My dad tells me every morning, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, and every night, brush your teeth, but I don't want to brush my teeth. I see. Well, brushing your teeth is important, and so is obeying your parents. Today's Bible story is actually about a king who disobeyed. Oh, did he not like to brush his teeth either? Uh, I, I don't know about that, but the Bible says King Jeroboam disobeyed God. Listen to this story to find out what happened. Jeroboam was the king of Israel. He saw there was a problem. If the people of Israel wanted to worship God, they would have to go to the temple in Jerusalem. Jerusalem wasn't in Israel, it was in Judah, where their old king, Rehoboam, was in charge. Jeroboam wanted to make sure the people never went back to following their old king. So instead of letting them go to Jerusalem to worship God at the temple, Jeroboam made two golden calves for the people to worship. Look, he said, these golden calves are the gods who saved your families out of Egypt. You can worship them. What Jeroboam did was a sin. Those calves did not save God's people. It was God who led his people out of Egypt. Jeroboam tried very hard to make Israel seem like a better place to live than Judah. He led all the people to worship false gods. One day, Jeroboam was getting ready to make a sacrifice to a false god when a man came to him. The man was a prophet. God had sent him with a message. The prophet warned that God was going to judge the leaders who made sacrifices to false gods. Jeroboam did not like the prophet's message. He pointed to the prophet and shouted, arrest this man. But suddenly Jeroboam could not move his arm. The altar next to him broke into pieces. Help, Jeroboam cried, pray and ask God to heal my arm. So the prophet prayed and God healed Jeroboam's arm. Still, Jeroboam did not turn from his evil ways. Because of Jeroboam's sin, Jeroboam's kingdom would one day be destroyed. Sin separates us from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true king who gave his life so we can be forgiven. His kingdom will last forever.